everyone uh, in this video we are going to see how we can integrate salesforce and linkedin so we are going to make a call out from salesforce to the linkedin public api to create a post in linkedin so there are a few steps uh, to do that so we will see that one by one so what we will do in this demo so i have created one custom lwc component and i have placed it in a experience cloud site so uh, where we have some buttons so we will firstly authorize to the linkedin account and uh, then uh, we will have a, a text box where we can input our message and then we can post that message to the linkedin account so how it is being done so the there are some steps uh, so firstly we need to create a developer account on linkedin and then create an app uh, in linkedin developer account to get the client id and the client secret uh, then the next step is to do a HTTP redirect to the LinkedIn authorize URL where uh, the user will authorize to his account and uh, they will uh, accept all the permissions. After that, uh, the auth code gets appended to the URL. So once we have the auth code, we will uh, make a request to get the fetch the access token. So th this is the URL to fetch the access token uh, where we have the grant type, here we have the client ID, client secret. We'll have the redirect URI and we have the code from step one, the auth code. So uh, once we have the access token, we will fetch the user details by making a get request to this endpoint. Uh, once then once we have the user details, we need to get the user ID. Uh, so this is required to make post uh, to LinkedIn. So once we uh, get the user ID, we will make a post request to this URL and uh, we'll have to provide in some body. So let's go to Postman and see uh, what's man. And uh, uh, so uh, once I have the access token, if I go to headers, you can see I have added uh, this header uh, bearer slash access token, uh, which I received from the previous step. And uh, this is the header which we need to add based on the LinkedIn documentation. And if I click on body, so I'm passing this body. So this is, uh, I've got this body from the LinkedIn documentation where this is our user ID. This is the user ID that uh, needs to be received. Now, uh, and this is the text value that uh, we can provide. This is, uh, this can be made dynamic and we can provide uh, what on our basis and make create a post on LinkedIn. We can also share uh, some media if we want uh, from that. But uh, in this session, we'll just see how we can share the text post in LinkedIn. So uh, let's start. I'll go to uh, the website. So this is uh, a developer edition uh, experience cloud website. We have a button that is authorized. I'll click on authorize. So I'll authorize to the LinkedIn account. So it's asking me like uh, these permissions, this app is asking for these permission. Would you want to allow? click allow so now we have a text area where we can post something to the LinkedIn integration and I'll click on post to LinkedIn so I can see the spinner and it is showing me that post to LinkedIn has been successful I'll go to the LinkedIn screen and I'll click refresh and boom you can see that the post has been successful successfully done from linkedin so now what i'm going to do is uh, i'll show you how we can create a developer account just on the on google search for linkedin developers and click on the first link now you can you will have to click to my apps and click on create app in the create app you can create your app by filling out these details i have already done that so I'll uh, show you the Excel. I have the client ID, the client secret. I've provided in some redirect URLs and I've provided some OAuth scopes. For the OAuth scopes, you'll have to go to products and you have to request access for share on LinkedIn and sign in with, li with LinkedIn. So uh, it will go into the added product section. So uh, these two products you need to share a post on LinkedIn. And then we have the analytics and we have the team member. You can add a team member. So you have the client and the client ID and the client secret. So now let's go to the code and see what's happening in the code. So firstly, we have the LinkedIn auth URL uh, that is authorization URL. So we have the response type. We have the client ID. I have provided in the scopes. I have, we have the scopes here. We have provided in the W member social and our light profile. So these are the scopes for the two products which have, we have seen. Then we have provided in the redirect URI. 
the redirect URI is the uh, one where we want the LinkedIn to redirect us to back to and uh, code would be appended in this URL, right? And this is how we are doing a HTTP redirect. Uh, this is the way how we are checking the URL parameters. If uh, the URL parameters has code in it, then we can uh, we'll show the access token button. So now let's see this method. So this is we are uh, fetching the access token. We are firstly checking the body, the LinkedIn body uh, where we are uh, which we want to post to LinkedIn is empty or not. Then we are calling this Apex method where we are provided in the auth code, the body that is the LinkedIn body, which you want to post and the token, the access token. So for the first time it would be null. So uh, the from the second time we are going to save it somewhere. So this is the logic to save the access token so that we don't have to make the access token request again and again. Then we have some uh, variables where we are uh, just making them true and false. So uh, this is to show that whether the post was successful or there was an error. So this is calling the apex method. So let's go to the apex class. So this is the apex class and this is the aura enabled method post to LinkedIn. So firstly, uh, we are checking if token is equal equal to null or equal equal to empty string. Then uh, we are making a call to the LinkedIn endpoint where we are provided in the grant type, the client ID and the client secret and the auth code, which we have received from the previous step, the redirect URL. So uh, we are we are making a post request and we are provided in the content length as zero. Uh, once the request has been made, we are checking if it contains key access token. If it does, then make another call that is the fetch user ID LinkedIn. And uh, once we have the user ID, if that's successful, then call the LinkedIn post method. So these are the two methods which we have I've created. So I'll show you. So this is the fetch user ID LinkedIn method where we are provide, we are fetching in the details to get the user ID. So we will get the access token. We are getting that and we are just appending that to the endpoint and then we are making a request. Then we are just returning the request here and then we are just deserializing the request and fetching the user ID from it. That is the ID. So and let's see the call LinkedIn post method. So this is the call LinkedIn post method where we are creating the body. So I am creating the body uh, using some maps, I, uh, right? And uh, so this is the get specific content. Uh, so if I'll go to Postman again, so this is the specific content and within that we need to have this values, these values. So for that I have uh, created uh, this method, get specific content. So this is the body we need to have. So Firstly, we are uh, doing the share media category none, then the share commentary. Uh, we are input, input in a map there and uh, we are putting in the post body which we need. And then uh, within the uh, com.linkedin.ugc, we are just putting that map inside and returning it. So that will uh, be part of the specific content. And then we are setting up the visibility that we need to make the post as public. So this is the endpoint for it and we are setting up this header X, X Restly protocol version. We are setting in the authorization here and then we are making a request. So once the request has been made, uh, this method will get the request and this then we are just adding the body to return here. Uh, so we are uh, this is a map basically which I have declared at the top and this map will contain the access token and the body that is being returned. So and then this is being returned to JS and when, then we are just fetching the access token from the result variable. I'll just quickly show the HTML also. So this is the HTML where we are using the template if true f false directive. So we are setting the authorize button if uh, the show access token button uh, variable is false. Then if uh, it is true we are setting this button as disabled and then we are uh, setting up a text area to input the values and then we have a button that is post to LinkedIn which will on click call the fetch access token method. Then we have uh, the post success and the post error uh, which will show us whether the post was successful or uh, it was an error. So that's all from the code perspective. So I uh, hope you like this video and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone for watching.